Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Lexi and today we are going to be blinging up some of these cute butterfly stickers that I got from OneDaySaving.com. They did send me these stickers for free to review and show everybody and today I want to do a little bit of a I guess a whip and chat style video but I also wanted to do something fun and work on these with the drills that came with the kit which are right here but I also have some leftover uh, crystal rhinestones from some coasters that I made and I thought that we could sub in some of these crystal rhinestones to kind of bling out the butterfly stickers and add my own flair to them just to make them a little bit more unique and I thought it would be fun. So we will get right into this. Again, thank you to One Day Saving for sending me these really cute butterfly stickers. So let's start by picking which sheet we're gonna start working on. Um, I think that, gosh, they're all so beautiful. So we've got like some yellow and green ones here. These are the pinks. And <clears throat> this sheet is really pretty. These are some blue and teal. And then these are just some sort of multicolor butterflies. They're all really pretty. I think for today we'll do the pink. So we'll start working on these. Now this set, um, if you saw my unboxing video, you know that it did come with a kit that had the tray, the wax, and the pen. Um, I am going to, however, be using my own um, pens just because I prefer them and my own tray that I have here. So I did not kit up um, into containers yet. Usually for small projects, I don't kit up ahead of time. I just kit up as I go along. So that's why they're still in the vacuum sealed uh, little packs here. And I have a little container and labels so that we can kit up as we go along. Alrighty, so let's get into it. We are going to start, um, I think let's start on this big butterfly up top. I'm just going to peel back the plastic cover only part way and let's start with number nine which is oh put my finger right on the sticky number nine which is the purple color I believe yep So I hope everybody is having a fantastic week. Today is Monday for me. So just getting my week started. I had a relaxing weekend, but it goes too fast. <laughs> it goes way too fast. So I'm just gonna dump all these out into the tray. This was number nine. And I'm gonna start making myself a container. These little stickers are just so cute, and I think they're gonna make um, a fun, fast little project. Although, we'll see how many I get done, because when I start talking, you know. <laughs> so, let's see. Uh, I have to go here and I've already smudged the ink on that. That's fantastic. <laughs> Maybe I should be using a Sharpie. Let's do that instead. Here's my Sharpie. We're going to use this instead. Okay. Alrighty. So we will get started with diamond painting our butterfly here. I think I like how these sheets are divided up so that you have four separate sheets 
And like I was saying in my other video, I think this would be a good project to work on with kids. It's small enough to get some done quickly and you have you know these four separate sheets you could divide it up if you have um, you know a few kids <laughs> you can divide it up and everybody gets their own sheet I think that would work out in my pen I'm just using glue dots and uh, my glue dot seems to be winning here <laughs> I'm a hard presser so sometimes the uh, dots. Uh oh, what is going on here? Uh -oh, my glue dot is too strong, or what is going on here? There we go. <laughs> Let's put those in there. And then I think what I'm gonna do is there are two number nines on the end of each antenna here. I don't know if you can see that. But I think what I'll do is I'll put rhinestones on those at the end of the antenna. So we'll do that in just a second. These are so nice and colorful and bright. I am ready for spring. I'm sick of dark colors and winter. <laughs> so it's definitely time to brighten things up around here, I think. So if you hear vacuuming, that is my friend Clean Latifa, <laughs> my shark robot <laughs> vacuum. Which is very convenient, by the way. <laughs> Oops. I think these are going to be so cute. So tell me down below, have you done stickers like this before? And if not, would you like to? I have been um, really wanting to do some little stickers like this and I love small projects. And so I really am grateful that One Day Saving sent me these um, because I've been wanting to do some stickers. And I've been obsessed with butterflies. So it just worked out perfectly. And this pen that I'm using is from Butterfly Effect Wears. So we're, we have a theme going. <laughs> we have quite the theme going. number nines. Yep, right there. such a cute design and it's going to be so cute once we get all the diamonds on here. Let's turn this around. That's what we've got. So Ooh, <laughs> that's what we've got so far. All right, we've got a couple more number nines that we need to get on there. Ooh. 
you are so darn cute. Did I drop it? I did, I dropped one on there. <laughs> okay, oh, there's some number nines in the body there, but I think that I'm gonna add rhinestones in here and maybe we'll also put rhinestones on the body here. So let's check out what colors we have for rhinestones. Let's put our uh, rhinestones in here, or our, sorry, not our rhinestones, our uh, drills in here. So this little container doodad is just um, a little organizer that I got from Amazon, I believe, like in a multi-pack with a bunch of different accessories. I will try to find the link to that in case anybody is interested. Oh, perfect. Okay. So I've got, well, let's see. Okay. I've got two different purples here. Again, these are just leftovers that were from um, the mandala coasters that I made. And I always save spares so that I can use them in other projects. So I've got this, oops, sorry, this deeper purple. And then this sort of lighter lilac and I'm thinking maybe I'll go with this lighter lilac color um, in here so let's do that now I want to try out <laughs> during this video I got these dotting tools on Amazon and I've seen people using these um, both for nail art but also for diamond art and so it's got like a wax tip on the end and I've seen specifically people using them with crystal rhinestones so I'm hoping it works <laughs> we'll see okay The reason I wanted to try this for crystal rhinestones is because usually with putty or um, the glue dots, the rhinestones are so gunky that the putty or the glue dots get so dirty and it's kind of annoying. So I thought that this tool might be good and so far so good, it's picking them up. Um, this is the first time I've used it, so I didn't quite know what to expect, but it's working so far. I'm seeing some number nines here that I missed earlier. This is gonna be really pretty with these rhinestones. So I do like how this tool is picking up the rhinestones. But I'm fe I feel like I'm trying to be delicate with it because I'm scared I'm going to break this like wax tip off of it. But maybe I just need to get used to it. Oh, that's going to be pretty. Look at that. Okay. Let's go back in. There are a couple here that I missed. Uh, where did they go? The number nines in here. Let's just use these rhinestones since we've already got them in the tray. That's gonna be so pretty. Okay. Gorgeous. Alrighty, so let's put these back in the baggie. And then we'll go in with our next color. which we'll go ahead and do 10. Okay. 
Okay. So we'll go in with number 10 here. This is sort of a lighter lilac color now. And there's just a couple spots. So it is morning time, it is before work, and uh, I'm hoping I can get this one done before I have to start work. <laughs> so I think it was just those two areas that had 10. I think so. Cute, okay. Let's pour these back in here. And then we'll do number 11. Okay. So number 11 is, ooh, okay. This pretty like gold color. Like marigold color. That's gonna be really pretty. That's so pretty. I like the gold with the purple. I guess it's kind of like Mardi Gras colors, huh? Oh, that's gonna be so cute going all the way around the outside. So I think once I'm done with these, I will definitely seal them with some of the spray sealer. And then, I don't quite know where exactly I'm going to put them, but I do think I will put some of them on my totes in my craft room my organizing totes and I would not be surprised if some of these show up in my sparkle gram <laughs> uh, mailing uh, my friend mail that might be a thing too <laughs> cute so we went all the way around the outside there now there are more in the antenna. Should I sub in some rhinestones there? Um, no, let's keep going with these uh, sort of opaque ones. I think it's a nice accent to have the rhinestones at the end of the antenna there. frame here. So I will link these down below again, as well as the other projects that were sent to me by One Day Saving. They have a lot of cool stuff on their website. And I really like that they are, um, you know, they're budget friendly. They have a good variety of stuff. And I just love that, um, you know, there are options out there. So it's like whatever um, price range you're comfortable with, they have something, you know, that, um, yeah, it's just so accessible. It's like they have options for everybody on there. I like that. <laughs> And I was saying in my last video, you know, they've got 
more than just diamond painting. They have cross stitch. They have, um, like they even have like nail art stuff and some resin stuff, which I'm going to have to go back and look at because I've been enjoying doing resin lately. But I just really enjoy these little projects. This really helps in between, I always say this, um, so I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but it just really is nice to have these little ones in between the um, big canvases. Just a little something. Fun size. <laughs> That's really cute. Oh, we missed a few down here. Okay. Cute, cute, cute. Look how fun. Oh. <gasps> so cute. Okay. So let's, oh, uh, we need to put these in the container. These are kind of hard to open, these little thingies. Okay, I can't get that one open, so we're just gonna skip it and go to the next one. Is what it is. Okay, so I want to do. Um, so there are these ones in here that are white. This color here, but I think instead of that, we should do. Some clear crystal rhinestones, which I have here, left over from my last project. So let's put those in. Just doubling it up a little bit. So I am definitely a craft supply hoarder, but I feel like it pays off. Because, <laughs> see, I can use them. <laughs> Oh, let me do this again, because this did work out, this little pen. So I don't know if this just like wears down over time or what. I guess it does because it's waxed. So I'm not sure if you can get replacements for them or what. It didn't come with replacements. So I'm not too sure how that works, but so far so good. And I like that it's filled with little diamonds in there. Little rhinestones. So the thing is about this project is it comes with all the drills that you need. You don't need to do what I'm doing here. Um, but, and they will look gorgeous regardless of what you choose to do. But this is just a fun option that you can do if you want to. And if you have um, ABs, you know, the Aurora Borealis drills left over from your diamond paintings, you could add those. That would be cool as well. Sorry, I know I'm crinkling this paper.
I think that was a good choice. Look how pretty and sparkly. We like sparkly. Sparkly and glittery. Okay. So let's, um, oh, we gotta put these back in the bag. Okay. Next up, let's do, what are we gonna do? Let's do number two, which is the black in here. Let's put some stickers on here. So we're going into number two, which is the black. I'll just dot these in. This is so relaxing and just fun to do. A nice project before I start work for the day. <laughs> Um, I will say what I really, really like about these stickers is that the circle guides are small enough that you cannot see them poking out from underneath the drills as long as you get, you know, as, obviously as long as you get it lined up correctly. What I, what really drives me crazy about other projects that I've had is where the guide circles or the symbols are so big underneath that you can see them <laughs> underneath the drills which doesn't look great you want the drill to cover the whole symbol and in this case they do and so that's very nice the sheet is very sticky I'm not having any issues um, getting the drills to stick down I did up here just a little bit but I think it was just my Glue dot is new and it was winning <laughs> against the adhesive on the paper is all. Do we get all the twos? I think so. Let's pour these in. Okay. Next number, we'll do number three. These containers are hard. I don't know that I like them. Okay. This would be like fun to do on my lunch break as well. Sometimes I do that while I'm at work take a lunch break and work on small projects. These drills are nice, they're not staticky or anything like that. They're nice to work with. Okay. Let's 
I'm seeing some 11s that I missed earlier. Of course, that's always the way. <laughs> Never fails. <laughs> Okay, oh, I see a couple more. <laughs> okay. I think we're looking really good. That's going to be so pretty. Let's see, do we miss any threes? Probably. Oh, yep, yeah, there's one right there. And right there. Oh! Let's dump these out and then I think what we'll do is number four. Uh, oh, let's keep this out. Yep, yeah, let's do number four. This might be a good one to sub out because it's a bright red and I have these bright red. Is that a good idea? Or maybe I'll do that for number six. Eh, no. Let's do it for number four. Okay. We're gonna put some rhinestones in for number four. going to look so cute. I think I do like this pen for the rhinestones. The only thing I miss is it doesn't make the popping noise. <laughs> I love the popping noise. I guess it kind of does, but not, not like the glue dot. Sorry, I'm not talking too much. I'm really concentrating on this. <laughs> okay, did we get all the fours? Let's see. Look how pretty. I think we did get all the fours. Oh no, look, there's some down here. earlier that these might go in sparkle grams and um, in case anybody is new and doesn't know or hasn't heard um, I am doing a friend mail thing on my channel where you can sign up and um, we're gonna do every week uh, where I pick one person to send a sparkle gram to which is a friend mail. oh I didn't want to do that um, I'll send a sparkle gram or a friend mail to one person each week and it will just be a little handmade thing 
it's nothing huge. <laughs> Um, but, uh, I'll be doing those each week, uh, with my whipping chats. So go check out last week's whipping chat from Wednesday and you'll find in that whipping chat, there will be a link to a Google form and all of the, um, steps are explained there. Um, there's like a secret code word that you have to comment on that video with. And then if you're picked, um, I will send it out based on the information that's in the Google form. So that's really fun. Just a fun little way to send stuff out to say thank you for supporting my channel and watching and all that good stuff. Working on number eight now. It's this really cute pink color. I really love that. Ooh. I might have to speed some of this footage up. <laughs> So number 19 is, uh, where did it go? Did 
did I lose? Oh, number 19 is this really pretty green color. Really, really pretty. But <laughs> because we're also blinging stuff out on this go round, I'm thinking what if we did one of these greens? I'm thinking, um, it's gonna go in here. Just a little dot in here. I'm thinking we do the darker green. So, let's do a couple of those. And, oh, there's some actually up here as well. So we'll just do a little dot of green. six next six or seven I guess <laughs> six and seven are pretty close in color uh, well maybe not seven is darker this pinky and like a lighter pink and then a darker pink so let's do six first. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. This is seven. We're doing seven first. <laughs> seven is the lighter. Okay. Gosh, this is going to be so cute. So this is taking me about an hour to finish one of these, but of course, I feel like I'm always a bit slower when I'm on camera and talking, and of course I've been kidding up as I go along, and also then substituting stuff out, and so that takes up more time. All the sevens. Okay. We'll go on to number six. I also see a number two that I missed earlier. This is number six. And then we'll do number eight. Oh, we already did number eight, but I missed some, apparently. I'll just kind of stab and grab out of here. It also takes more time when you miss some and you have to go back. <laughs> Not efficient at all. <laughs> all right, and we need a two. 
And then I think we just have the elevens that I missed earlier. And then we're done with this one. Elevens. All right, I'll dump these out. Last one going in. Ta da! We did it. <laughs> All right, it looks really, really pretty. I'm going to pick it up and hold it up to the camera here. All right, so here is our blinged out butterfly. And you can see it is glittery and shiny. And we added our own little flare by putting these crystal rhinestones in here. Just giving it a little bit extra bling. So it looks really cute. It's really spring. It's really uh, colorful, spring summery. I love it. I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't wait to do the rest of these. I do plan on doing the same thing that I did with this by putting more rhinestones in them and then I will seal them and they'll be good to go. But it looks great. It looks so cute and as I was saying before you don't need to add rhinestones to them if you don't want to you can just use the same the drills that came with the kit uh, that's totally an optional thing but a fun thing to do if you have leftover drills from other kits just to kind of change it up a little bit so there we go there is our blinged out butterfly Thank you to One Day Saving for sending me these to uh, review and share with you all. I appreciate them very much. Check them out. It will be linked down in the description below. I hope you're all having a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!